that. And this is my 2017 Can-Am X3 with a K9 racing body from K9 Racing. We built this just in my little shop in Edmond, Oklahoma. Um, it's probably the, it's the second build I've done. The first one was on an XP900 with a first generation Raptor body with K9 racing. Uh, but this is the second generation. I love it. I'm always out of the dunes. It's a great, great product from K9 racing. Before the body, it was a standard Can-Am X3 uh, with a stage four evolution tune on it with big injectors. Um, so it's really pretty much stock. It's just all bolt on. You got to figure out how to put the doors on and make it all look cool. and make it look like a trophy truck I guess but um, it's pretty much a standard X3 and it's a kit they sell at K9 Racing. First steps, oof, gosh, um, actually putting the whole body on crates is what I did. I just set it in my garage or my shop, put it on crates, put it where I wanted it, where I thought it looked cool and then I built the body parts out from there to the chassis. Um, K9 does build the subframes if you want them to build them for you as well. Um, but I built the first one and this one a little bit different. Um, just kind of did by looks, but it turned out to be turned out to be a great machine. Um, I'm running Pro Sixes from KC. They're so bright, my buddies hate them when they're on. So I know they're working. Uh, their methods, uh, bead locks uh, wrapped in uh, scat tracks in the back, and uh, just the SPI sand drifters from the front. 32s, 32 spare tire. I just put that on just for looks make it look more like a trophy truck and uh, the great thing is that it's there because it makes it ride wheelies really easy that extra weight is really cool in the back so uh, this can-am shocks not even tuned i did them all myself just kind of adjusted the springs where i thought the, the car would ride good it weighs about 2400 pounds so it did take a while to get it dialed in but uh, eventually i'm gonna have to get it done professionally <laughs> Running the Simpson Simpson seats, uh, they were custom made. They were here at UTV Takeover last year, and that's when I bought my seats. And I'm running the Pro Armor harnesses, and I got a, a backup camera as well, so I can see my buddy, so I don't uh, crash into anybody when I'm getting nuts. The mirrors are actually handmade. Um, I had wanted that trophy truck look, and obviously they didn't make anything like it, so I built them from scratch to make it look like a trophy truck. I think I got it pretty close. They are pretty indestructible, so uh, they've lasted a couple years. Well, the jack actually, like I said, it's really for looks, but um, last year we were out in the dunes for hours into the night, nobody had a jack, and they, my buddies that laughed all the years before got to use the jack that they laughed about. Um, and that was pretty much it, we were out there forever. Uh, it's actually 80 inches wide, and barely fits in the trailer. Rubs on the fender well. Um, I like staying with the stock stuff because I drive it aggressively and I do them things, and it's very cheap to get an A-arm and replace it and it doesn't bend that frame. Uh, I've got a homemade skid plate in the back uh, made out of aluminum that I crafted myself. Just cut it out, bolt it on, it works good. It's what it's supposed to do. And I'll have parts for sale eventually. Uh, the website's getting be built as, as we speak. Um, or if you need the body and you're looking at a build, you can go to K9 Racing.